Hello and uh, welcome to this video. I'm going to be showing you how you can use GitHub Pages to deploy a Next.js app. So this is going to be a fairly quick one as it's a relatively simple setup. What we're going to have is an environment and this environment is going to allow us to see our Next.js application on each deployment. Um, and we're going to aim to target for any merge that goes into main. So right now, if you just take a look here on deployments, you can see I did this yesterday, just testing this, but you can click on view deployment and then you'll get an application. So it's relatively simple to set up. The first thing you need to do, head into settings. Um, and what we have, actually have to do is go down to pages. Um, you may see something similar to this. If you don't see this, it's because we need to get the workflow to be able to enable the deployment. So just keep a um, keep this in mind, because we are gonna come back here, but one thing you actually do have to set up is, uh, we're gonna look in secrets, and then actions, and then repo secrets, or repository secrets. Now I've got one here called pages deployment. You'll need this for the ability to deploy. So click on new repository secret, you can create a new one in here call it whatever you want. Um, maybe just copy this pages deployment and then just put in any secret, some long string or some sort of unique uh, combination of words and numbers. Um, so once you've done that, uh, we can head back into, so the main repo, um, I'll pull this up. Now this is the most important bit. So if I just make this a bit bigger, this is just a generic Next app. I've literally installed just a Next.js app. There's nothing fancy going on. Um, you know, we can make some changes. So, um, hello there, testing the workflow deployment for oh, GitHub. Right, so I've made a change, okay. Now, what you need to do is create a .github folder right in here. So just create that, then create one called workflows, and then you can name the workflow anything you want. It's a YAML file. Now, if you aren't familiar with workflows, basically this is almost a CI, so a continuous integration, and we can do all sorts of stuff in here. A quick overview from a high level, I've just named this publish to GitHub pages. You can go into actions and you can see when yours runs, you'll get these like deployments and all the artifacts, and that was our uh, build. But what's important is that, um, by the way, this is in the description, so if you don't really care about this, copy and paste this and you're good to go. The only things that you need to change is here, look, secrets.deployment, that links back to your secret actions and then your deployment. So that's basically there to be able to give you the ability to um, get the pages running on a workflow. So permissions, content, read, write, right. Don't worry about this, that's fine. Just make sure you've got your environment set up here. So environmental variables that are available to all jobs and steps in the workflow. So concurrency, so let's say for example, if there's one already in progress, that's gonna be deploying to main. You don't wanna do this um, twice, so you get one going over the other. So we can cancel an in progress job. Now, again, you can just copy and paste this. You don't have to worry too much about what's going on. We do various steps in here. So we have a checkout, we detect the package manager. You don't even need this. So if you're using NPM or YARN, you can simply just have your package manager as NPM or YARN. But um, you can leave that in there, that's fine. You can set up Node. I've used the Node version 16. .10.0 and I've got an MVMRC which just runs on that node version. Right, the important bits are here. So we set up pages and we use the configure pages action which is provided to us by um, GitHub. Now, if you're not familiar with Next, they do have a Next uh, configuration and I don't have it in here, but it basically just has a configuration path where you can add the base to the URL. Not the base, the suffix to the URL. Uh, static sites, and this only works basically for client and um, static websites because it's just host, host and HTML page. It's almost like AWS S3. That's all it's doing. Um, Verso will do this, and there's a bunch of other people who do this as well. Netlify. 
the cache, you don't have to worry about this, but it's just to uh, help speed things up if you've got similar um, dependencies and whatnot already installed in the package.lock or the yarn.lock. Now we have to install the dependencies here so that we can do the next.js build. So once we've installed the dependencies, we can then do build with next.js, which is next build, right? So next build is pretty much just running, you know, next build. It builds out our out file, our out folder, which has our static site. Um, and then we can export that. So we can do our next.build and then we can do the export, which then will give us the out. And you see here, upload the artifact, that's uploading it to um, GitHub for that particular job that's going on. And then we can then go ahead and use that. So this here right now, deploy job. You'll see GitHub pages and that's the pages.url. We'll look at that in a second. So this will just do the deployment. So if I make a change in here, let's just say git commit, uh, feature new homepage. Push that up. Okay, so now that's pushed up, we can go in here. There we are, I've pushed it directly to main, but you can do this on each pull request. And I'll show you how to do that so every pull request actually has a unique um, environment. Um, do, 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 do. So there you are, those are the changes. You can see there's a job running right by just in this indication here. There's jobs running, so we can click details, and then these jobs are running. So once these are actually done, invalid next, dot, next config, yeah, it's because I don't have one in there. Um, there we are, it's doing all the good stuff, restoring the cache, it's already noticed that the package.lock is the same, complete the job. You see how I've just named these and they link back up to the other one. So it's done the build, it's done everything else, and now let's have a look at the deploy. So it's starting the deploy job, deploy it over to GitHub pages. You'll see I've got the build in here, Build, so I've got two jobs, build and deploy. Okay, so now it's deployed. And there we are. That's our environment. Let's see. There we are. Hello there, testing the GitHub workflow, workflow deploy, deployment for GitHub, if I can uh, speak. Um, and then you'll also see it here. So you can have multiple environments. You can have a test environment. You can also have a production environment. Um, you can have more environments if you wish as well. Uh, but that's how you see them all. So that can be the latest um, that you can show to either your tester for main before it goes and gets deployed. So you could have a test environment, show the test environment to the tester. Um, you can test against, you know, production or at least staging URLs, uh, stuff like that. Uh, I'll, also, I'll also show you how to do packages as well, deploy packages. Oh, wrong one. Um, so then people can consume your packages from other GitHub repos. But that's pretty much how you set it up. So now you set. Now we've done that workflow. Just make sure that um, uh, in pages you actually have deploy from a branch. Now you can best for using frameworks and customizing the build process. You can use this also, but what we're going to do is just deploy from a branch, and that's pretty much all you have to do. This this option right here. So you can see here, branch or GitHub pages site is currently being built from the main branch and that's exactly what we want. If you want, you can set up a custom domain too, that's fine. Allows you to just serve it. So as opposed to serving it from that URL, you can set up your own URL and then you can enforce HTTPS. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully that is, um, I don't know, hopefully it's useful uh, for static sites and client site client-side websites, so those types of deployments. I feel like this is a really good option. Um, but, you know, that's the way I would build a website now, static, static, especially for um, the majority of sites I'm doing. So yeah. Okay, so basically, just a quick uh, run over what we did. Set up your action secret. This page is deployment here that we've set up. It can be anything. It just links here to the secrets. And that's your node of token, which allows you to do all the um, jobs that we have in here. So the build and the deployment, basically. Um, and if you didn't have that, it probably wouldn't work. And if you did use a package on GitHub that you're using within here, and you didn't have that, it wouldn't be able to do the install. So just make a, just uh, keep that in mind. So secrets and pages, that's all you need. And of course, Make sure you have this workflow here. Um, it goes in a workflows folder and you can just create as many as you want really. You can 
create all sorts of different workflows. It's really powerful. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.